Welcome to today's Tax Info 5 Minutes. When you contribute to charity, accept it feeling generous. Don't forget to check how much deductions you have, or you might just throw away your taxes or confront penalties. Let's see an example first. Laura has AGI of 32000 She donates $1,000 to Red Cross. She gave $100 to a hungry beggar on her way home. She drove 1,000 miles to a food bank to do some volunteer work. She also donates some bonds. Bought it 3000 but it's worth 10000 now. Oh, how much can I deduct? Well, we'll come back to this later. Taxpayers can deduct contributions of money and other property to qualified domestic charitable organizations. Remember, qualified, if you give money to a poor child on your way home, no deduction. If you donate money for a political campaign, no deduction. Let's first look at money contribution. They're deductible in year paid. Include what? Cash, check, electronic funds, all of these are monetary contribution. Don't forget, your transportation and travel costs for charitable purpose are also deductible. What if I use my personal vehicles? No worries, a standard mileage allowance for mile driven is applied. Exclude what? What if I provide services for the charity? Sorry, not deductible. What if I exchange contribution with services or goods provided by the charity? Sorry, only the amount exceed fair value of the goods or service is deductible. Now let's turn to property contribution. It's divided into two parts, capital gain property and ordinary income property. Capital gain property, including those appreciated assets that generate long-term capital gain if sold. Capital gain property is appealing. You can deduct fair market value of the capital on the date of donation. How about ordinary income property? Ordinary income property includes all assets other than capital gain property, like assets held for a year or less. You can deduct the lesser of fair market value of property's adjusted basis. Not favorable as capital gain property, right? Oh, it's no wonder that I only got a $200 deduction when I donated 10 packages of old clothing. But what if I donate a large sum of money this year? I don't need to pay a single penny tax, right? No, no, no. The amount of a taxpayer's charitable contribution deduction for the year is limited to a maximum level, determined by the type of property the taxpayer donates and the nature of the charity. Beforehand, if you don't know, let me introduce three types of charity. Public charity, private operating foundation, and private non-operating foundation. Public charities are charities publicly supported, like churches and schools. Private operating foundations are privately sponsored foundations that actually fund and conduct charitable activities. Private non-operating foundations are privately sponsored foundations that disperse funds to other charities, such as the Bill and the Melinda Gates Foundation. First, let's look at what kinds of contributions are subjected to 50% limitation. Contributions of cash and ordinary income property to public charity and public operating foundation are in this field. Second. Cash contributions to private non-operating foundation, capital gain property contributions to public charity or private operating foundation, and ordinary income property contributions to private non-operating foundation are subjected to 30% limitation. Thirdly, capital gain property contribution to private non-operating foundation is subjected to 20% limitation. How about my problem? Okay, let's solve Laura's problem. Assume all of donation went to public charities. Donation to Red Cross, cash mileage, transportation costs are limited to 50% of taxpayers' AGI. Here is 16,000. If we use 40 cents per mile for transportation, we will get 1,140, smaller than 16,000, so it is deductible. The bonds donated is a long-term capital gain property, deductible at fair value 10,000, but it's limited to the lesser of 30% AGI limit or 50% AGI minus 50% deduction. The smaller limitation here is 9,600. So Laura can deduct 10,740 this year. The remaining 400 is carried forward to next year. The carry forward part will expire in five years. Final tips, no documentations, no deductions. The video covers limited content for charitable deduction. For more information, please refer to tax code at irs.gov. Created using Powtoon.